So these are no good. Are I these might... decorating masks? Yeah, I, I'll have that for decorating. Okay. But I've already got chafing, Mary, on this. <laughs> this is my favourite one, obviously. Oh, charming. Is that willow pattern? Mm. Mine are a bit industrial, Mary. I think I'd like to get some more fashionable. Find out what Sting wears, Mary. In Wiltshire. I went up to the wood this morning and I heard this really weird noise, a sort of really piercing, trumpeting shriek. It's the noise of a monk jack. Giles and his wife, Mary. <coughs> that sounds terrifying. I'll do it again. Go on. <coughs> oh, that's awful, That was Charles. just like that. You didn't know I could make a noise like that, did you, Mary? Well, would you like me to growl like... Um, yeah, you try growling. Jeff Capes. No, I don't want to... Jeff, look. You growl like Jeff Capes, Mary. It'll hurt my throat. It's, it's, just do a little tiny... A woman's version of Jeff Capes. <laughs> That's very effective. Very frightening. Oh, oh my what the God. hell was that, Mary? We're getting our own trance noises coming. That's just the wind. No, it's not. <laughs> Mess it. I'm starting to get the effects. Anything to do with whistling noises and fluttering hands? Stop it. I'm getting the effects, Mary. I'm getting high. Well, you'll be feeling low in a minute if you don't stop. I don't like the word jubbly. Do you? Well, there's a lovely jubbly, isn't there? Oh, I hate that. Expert. Lovely jubbly. Don't say it again. For the third time lucky, you might enjoy it this time. Lovely. Oh, that's so wicked of you. Oh, sorry. You once threw a glass of milk at me. Yes. And it went all over the wall. Yes. That was... Did you throw wine at me as well? Never. Do you remember the days it used to drink? You used to drink. You used to be a bit like um, Sarel, not sure you. Was. Before you. Pull the other. Before one. you went on the programme. Do you remember? No, I was. I'm not on a programme. Oh, oh programme. look, Mary. Typical of our house. The wrong thing is in the... You, you grab a celery salt and what's inside it? Cinnamon. No, vanilla. Oh, Someone's lace... Shoelaces. Shoelaces. Oh, for goodness sake. For heaven's sake, Mary. What sort of kitchen are you running where you put shoe... I'm not trying to run the kitchen, you are. Shoelaces in a celery salt packet. Now, let's just hope he doesn't choke on a lozenge, Mary. Oh, stop being nasty. I'm not being nasty. Why would he even have that. a lozenge in I know in when you get, uh, you get to old age, Nutty. There's all sorts of hazards. If she's a practising Christian, Nutty, this must be against every tenet of every religion. Well, I mean, I don't think there's any teachings in the Bible about not going on to shows and looking at rows of penises. Now, look away as I do it, Mary. Don't do it for long. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> I've just nearly got it right. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. And I can vary it. Is that meant to be how they sing? Well, whatever I'm doing, it's having the effect of attracting tits from miles around, Mary. I've got you some Easter bunnies, Mary, anyway. Really? Those are sweet, aren't they? They're yeah. almost too beautiful to um, eat. And look, Mary, the way to deal with them is... The head comes straight off. Hawthorn cheese, the first leaves of the hawthorn. Mm. I don't think it's got much mm. flavour. Nutty, nutty. Look at my mouth. Don't... I don't like your lips mm. going out like that, Charles. You know I don't. That is delicious. So there's at least three of those are edible. <laughs> and we can make a nourishing smorgasbord. And I don't like the word smorgasbord. A smor sh oh. sh smorgasbord. Stop it! Of garden salad, Nutty, as long as you can wash it down with lots of... Liquid. I'm with you there, but not the cake I bought from Ramsbury Post Office. Oh, though. shut up about that cake. You won't catch a bloke using a squeegee mm. on a shower, will you? Mm. Do you do you think of yourself as a bloke? I'm a normal bloke, yeah. If only you were, Charles. It was very nice of you to give me that venison stew for lunch. Why didn't nutty? you like it? The presentation, Nutty. It was just a tiny dog's dinner. Dog's dinnery, the presentation. Ooh. Oh, oh I kind of... thought it. I thought it. All those bits of filaments of um, venison that are floating around. It looked like a school stew. It was just. It, it was, was too... a retro meal. It was something you might serve to a gorilla, because the oh, clumps Mary. of meat were so big. 
I that think you've made thing. me lose my confidence oh. now, Natty. I think we're going to have to sell the silver to pay the council tax. Silver? You mean the brass candlesticks? The brass, the pewter, the Sheffield plate. There isn't any silver. I've already sold it. Right. Well, if you are going to do that, I'll be going to the auction with your Richard Jeffries library and saying, yee, I did it behind your back because it raised 30 quid and it's better than a mm. kick in the teeth. He's far too enthusiastic about everything. Mm. I don't see what she's got to be embarrassed about. I'm sure it's spotless. Do you, suppose she's, let, do you suppose she's left a floater in it, Mary? Oh, no, please, Charles, I don't like you to say that. OK. Mary, these candlesticks are heavily soiled. What I need is one of those cotton bud things. Mary and her husband, Giles. The other thing we could do is just plunge the whole thing into a soapy water. And see what but happens. But then it would all fall to bits because it's all glued together. Do you think? Can you get me a cotton bud? Without taking too long, Mary. Because <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you have me sitting here for hours. My life just trickling away down a drain. <sighs> Whoops. OK, no harm done. No harm done. And also, Mary, last night we had a little accident while you were indisposed. What? I knocked a tumbler of elderflower cordial all over my precious books. Oh. So, uh, so when I come to open them in ten years' time, all their pages will stick together. There's quite a lot of... Um... I think it's probably time we shuffled off this mortal coil, Mary. I think we've, we've served our purpose. I know what it'll be called, your show, Mary. What? Awake, but not woke. <laughs> oh. oh! Did he cause physical harm, Mary? No. <laughs> that was too rough, Merlin. You're getting Merlin. too old for that sort of behaviour, Mary. You know the cavity in an avocado? It's the only time I have olive oil on its own. Is I pour the oil into the bidet-shaped avocado. Don't spoil avocados The bidet-shaped hole in the avocado. Oh. And then I just, I put some Malden sea salt, the affordable luxury, over the top, and I scoop it out. Mm. Oh, don't spoil that? my life. Mm.